I found a mod for Black Ops 1 that completely changes zombies. It's called Project 115 and adds in a ton of new things and I'm really excited to try it out. I want to get the full experience with this mod so today we're going to see if I can get to round 50 with it. So let's get into it. Alright so here we are loaded up on Black Ops 1 key. Now as you can tell the HUD is already super different. I do like the nice infinite warfare touches but I do also like the character model down below in the left hand corner. That's pretty sick. Wait, what the hell? The wall bodies are just names? <laughs> That's freaking awesome. But we do have the MX Grand here. What's on the other side? We got the Ballista. What? Okay. I always like getting the M14, so let's get the MX Grand to start off. You can actually reload mid-mag. That is really, really awesome. I do like that change. I always hated getting the MX Grand on Black Ops 3 because you couldn't reload mid-mag. That's something that I'm like super used to. Every time I have a weapon, if I just shoot a couple of shots, I'm just so used to reloading after. And not being able to do that is just so weird for me. I don't know. But as you guys can see, this mod adds in a bunch of cool new weapons. It adds in a bunch of weapons from different games. We got weapons from BO2, BO3, MW2, Infinite Warfare and Advanced Warfare. That is freaking awesome. Not only that, it adds in some wonder weapons. We got the Raygun Mark II, the Raygun Mark III, and the Apothecan Servants. I'm very curious to see how the Apothecan Servant actually works. It's such a weird weapon that I just can't imagine actually seeing on Black Ops 1. So I wonder how it looks. <laughs> and another question I have is can we actually pack a punch it? We will find out. I will try to get all of the Wonder Weapons. Oh my god, Drops. This is awesome. Let's actually get Cook Revive right now. Hey, yo, we got the Cold War perk icons. These look awesome. Also, the perk icon in the middle of the screen. Kind of like that. This mod not only adds weapons, but it also adds in new bosses. This is really what I'm interested in. So, we got the Megaton from Cold War. And we have the Margo from Black Ops 3. Those sound like insane bosses to have on Black Ops 1. So I'm just curious to see how they work uh, and how different they actually look. I'm pretty excited for this though. What? Oh, we got a nuke. The drops look really, really cool. I like the green. Okay, I gotta open up the door. Oh, double points. Nice. God, it's so weird not having the round in the bottom left-hand corner. <laughs> okay, is that last zombie? Let's go. All right, so we still have Mule Kick here. So far, nothing new I can see. We got Speed Cola there. Oh, we have Tombstone. Nice. Let's keep going. Man, it's incredible what people can add to Black Ops 1. It's so freaking cool. Alright, let's turn on the power. Still got claymores there. That's nice. We gotta quickly get Jug. I'm so close to having enough. Let's get it. Let's get it, dude. We got the Galvanicles. Wait, what? It says Galvanicles, but it's the Bowie Knife. Which one is it? <laughs> it does cost 3k. I'm leaning more towards the Bowie Knife. I wonder if the bosses replace the dogs or if they spawn in throughout the rounds or when they actually spawn. Also, another question I have is, is the Thunder Gun still in the map? I wonder if they took it out for the mod. I imagine it's still here, though. I hope it is. It would be awesome because the Thunder Gun actually destroys the Margwa. Oh, my goodness. Getting slapped silly right there. Okay, where's the box? Oh my goodness, that is like the worst spot. <laughs> I mean, I'm still going to open up because I want to hit the box. Okay, so we have Deadshot here. Nice. Let's see what else they added over here. Oh my god, it's the Origins box. That is freaking sick. Oh, whoa, that animation is awesome. What do we got? We're starting off with the M240. Not a bad LMG. Oh, Electric Cherry is here too. Nice. That's perfect. Let's see what else we get. This music is <laughs> pretty awesome. We got the PP2000. See how good this thing is. 
What the hell? Dude, that Margul looks absolutely terrifying. Jeez, sis. Yo. We got the Mark II as well. Oh my goodness, what is going on? <laughs> Dude, this Margul looks terrifying. Jeez. That was like a jump scare. Also, how do you how can you tell which uh heads open? Unless I just shoot it. Okay, that was interesting. What the absolute hell happened that round? That was so scary, bro. That Margul came out of nowhere. I swear I did not hear him spawn in. So it looks like he just spawns in randomly. And it looks like the dogs are completely replaced. Oh, yeah, the Apothecan was right there. Let's get Electric Cherry. Of course, the main thing we're going to focus on is going through the rounds. I'm not sure exactly which strat I should use. I might do Alley for a bit. It really depends which weapons I have. I mean, already having the Mark II is absolutely incredible. I did hear a roar. Oh, the Megaton is here. The Megaton is here. Bro, this Mark II is going to make things so much easier for myself. He shot a blast at me. Let's see if the Mark II can shred the Megaton. It's kind of weird not being able to see the health. That's something that I'm so used to seeing whenever I see Cold War bosses. <laughs> this mod is so awesome. It's crazy that a mod like this can make a classic map like Kino feel brand new. This just feels like a whole new map. And we still haven't even gone to the alley. So yeah, that still does some damage to you. We got a nuke and a max ammo. Yo! All right, let's see what this room looks like. Anything new? I need to get double tap, though. Let's get double tap. And it's double tap 2! It did say that. Yep, double tap 2.0. I guess we'll also find out if there is a perk limit. I would imagine there isn't one. Usually, uh, a lot of mods don't give you a perk limit, so hopefully there isn't one. There's quite a lot of perks on the map. I would love to have all of them. Oh, we actually do have something here. We have stamina up. And it looks like there is no perk limit, so let's go. We're going to have so many perks by the end of this. So let's chill here in the alley. I do need to get speed cola ASAP. Oh my, bro. This Margo, I didn't freaking hear him spawn in. Uh, can I get out of here safely? I really do not want to open up this gate. Yo. Yo, no way I got out of that. Yeah, this Mark II is freaking awesome. There it is. Mark went down. Double max ammo. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and buy speed colo next. The reload speed on the shotgun and my Mark II is just freaking slow. So I got to get speed cola. Actually, what's the weapon here? The Vector. Whoa, this bar right here is getting crazy. Bro, this might be the best weapon. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, another Megaton. I'm telling you, man, these guys just drop in on you. Get wrecked. Oh my god, that is terrifying. <laughs> Alright, let's hit the box more. I want to see what's actually in here. And I want to try to get some other wonder weapon. Oh, I thought we got the A&E. Bro, are you kidding me? We got the same weapon. The model 1887. Bro, what? What are the chances of that? Oh, I'll take this. We got the HBR here. I need to get out of this room. Ooh, the UMP. I would love to move the box. That's like the main thing I want to do here. Oh, the Galil. It's kind of weird when you actually get a Black Ops 1 weapon. Perfect. We got the box to move. Let's see where it goes now. Hopefully not in an annoying spot. Where is this zombie at, by the way? Oh, there he is. 
Dude, I'm honestly not even sure when I end round. The round change sound is not that obvious. <laughs> At least now we can just stack up on points since we actually have an AR. Dude, actually, the next perk we gotta get is Mule Kick. Oh, what the hell? We got PhD right there. I gotta hit the box, though. Let's go and buy PhD while we're hitting the box. What do we got? What do we got? The MG4. I, You know what? I actually gotta get Mule Kick ASAP. I wanna see if I can get the Raygun Mark 1, the Raygun Mark 2, and the Raygun Mark 3 in the same inventory. That would be crazy if I can actually do that. Oh my god! What the hell? We got the Apothecary already? I gotta get Mule Kick now. Alright, so let's see how this works. I gotta say off the bat, the model looks really cool. It uh, it actually doesn't look that bad at all. So let's see what the shot is. That looks awesome. Yo! What? This is so cool, man. And we got the Margwa! Okay, I got a. That was a weird spot to be in. <laughs> the Mark II just deletes the Margwa, man. So good. I think the last thing to do now is to go visit Pack a Punch. Let's go see what's up there. All right, so let's see what's up here. Is there any new perks or anything? We got the Origins Pack-A-Punch. So let's see. Can we Pack-A-Punch the Apothecary Servant? Yes, we can. What does it look like? Yo, this looks pretty good. <laughs> this doesn't look that bad. Hell yeah. 15 shots. I guess we could do the alley strat. The spawns aren't too bad there. I kind of messed this spot up by opening up the door. Usually the spawns are already very fast. One thing I did notice, though, is that there's no Nova Crawlers. I guess it would have just been way too much to have the Nova Crawlers added into. I did hear the Megaton spawn in. I think that was a Megaton. Can I please move? Whoa, I was stuck there. Can I single fire the Mark II on Black Ops 1? Yes, I can. <laughs> Alright, let's shoot this bad boy. Alright, let's see. Megaton versus Apothecary Servant. A battle I never thought would happen. One shot, nothing. Didn't even phase him. Second shot. Looks like it's actually... Is it doing any damage? <laughs> I'll shoot another one. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, we uh, absolutely deleted him with the Mark II, though. So far, I'm definitely enjoying this mod. Everything is so freaking cool, man. Big props to the mod devs. By the way, if you guys do want to check out this mod, I will have a link down below in the description, so make sure to check that out. Uh, very, very easy to install Black Ops 1 mods. There aren't too many Black Ops 1 mods, but there are a lot of cool ones. I remember a while back, I did stream the Renaissance mod. That's one of the cooler mods, too. This mod, I believe, only works for Kino. That's the only bad thing. Or it's not really bad, but you know, it'd be cool to see all this stuff on other maps. I mean, I'm sure it's very, very difficult. Um, but yeah, the Renaissance mod does work for pretty much all the maps on Black Ops 1. And it does add in some pretty cool stuff. It adds in a lot of perks, and there's actually an end game. You can do, like, challenges, and you can actually end the game. That's one of the coolest things that uh, is part of that mod. But this mod so far is really, really awesome. I'm definitely enjoying it. Damn, that range on that slam is pretty far. I'm running through. Will the trap kill the Margwa? Oh, it actually did. What the hell? <laughs> nice. All right, let's see what the Mark II looks like. Hey, yo! This looks nice! That's interesting. They actually have different Pack-a-Punch camos. I wonder what the normal Pack-a-Punch camo looks like then. Is it red or is it blue? Let's go and get Mule Kick. We'll buy a weapon and we'll find out. Okay, where's the box at? Oh, it's in this room right here. Let's see what we get. Wait, what the hell? Wait, is the box broken? 
Wait! No! What the hell is the box actually broken? It says it's here. But it's... <laughs> but it's not here. Very strange. Huh? Hold on. Let's go take a look around the map. I mean, it says it's there. Maybe it broke because of the fire sale? That's like the only thing I can think of. Yeah, because it's supposed to be there. That's kind of sucks. I hope the box isn't broken forever. I mean, I do have like the two best weapons out of the box, so can't really complain. I would love to get the Mark III, though. That's the one weapon I did want to try out. Hopefully, when I get another fire sale, it'll fix it. I'm really hoping that'll happen. Not that much of a fan of burst weapons. I'll probably end up getting rid of this. It's pretty cool, though. <laughs> Not a fan of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, see, this is a classic right here. Yeah, this is way better. Let's go around the map and pick up all the perks. I should have enough for all of them. I can't imagine I'm missing too many. I don't think there was one up here, right? I think we had confirmed that. Oh, no, there was electric cherry, but we already got that. Now we're missing tombstone. Rest in pieces. Oh, I got the Margo to spawn. I actually heard it this time. What sucks that... Oh, it teleported. Uh oh, this is not a good spot to be in. Oh, wow. Clutch Maximo there. Uh, what is happening? <laughs> okay, give me that. Oh, another Maximo. What the hell? I thought it was a nuke. Yeah, look at this. Look at this, man. Why is the Mark II so good? Just why? Oh, look at that. We have Voltroid over there. What? I didn't even realize. Oh, and a fire sale. Let's go see if that fixed the box. Oh, the M4. Come on. Last hits. Wow, again. <laughs> one more, one more. Can I get one hit? I think I did. Yes, I did. Oh, but the box is a little bit broken. The SVU? Don't mind if I do. I'm almost positive that it's the fire sale that messed up the box. Because, yeah, look, it's not even the Origins box anymore. Damn, so we can only hit the box when it's a fire sale. That sucks a lot. Let's see what the SVU site looks like. Pretty good. I really did want to try out more of the weapons. That sucks. At the... By the way... At the end of the... I'm going to try and save a zombie at the end of this round so I can go and... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna save a, I'm gonna save a zombie at the end of this round. I'm gonna save a zombie at the end of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save a zombie at the end of this round, and I'm gonna show you guys around the map so we can take a look at all the wall buys, just to see what's around. Cause I actually haven't had time to look around the map. <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, here we have the Ragin. We did already have this earlier. I did get rid of it though. And then out here in the alley, the only weapon that's here is the HVR. I guess I'll just rebuy it. Why not? Over here in spawn, of course, we got the Ballista. And we have the MX Grand. Both are pretty awesome. Here we have the Cuda. Oh, nice. This is nice. Oh, we have Widow's Wine. I did a very bad job at looking around the map. <laughs> Over here in the MP40 room, we got the H1014. And then, obviously, we have the Vector over there. Here in the Tombstone room, we've got the P90. This is probably going to be really, really good. I always love whenever games have the P90. Such an amazing weapon. Here on the stage, we've got the NV4. What is wine popping off here? We can take a look at more weapons now. Let's go. What do we have? The scar! It kind of looked like the Peacekeeper for a second. Hey, the A12! This would destroy the Margua. Aw, oh, damn it. That was weird. What the hell? We got the bear? <laughs> we got the bear on a fire sale. <laughs> Alright, so let's get Vulture Raid while we're here. 
Hey. Gotta love the perk jingle. <laughs> oh, the box is here now. What is happening? It did actually move. What? That is so, so weird. All right, so here we got the Galva Knuckles. It does say Galva Knuckles there, but it also says Bowie Knife. <laughs> uh, which one will it be? We'll find out when I have 3,000. But yeah, that's pretty much it for all the wall buys there are on the map. A pretty cool selection of weapons. We got a mix of pretty much all the different types of weapons there. So, uh, pretty, pretty cool. Nice. Wait, what? Wait, it doesn't let me take it. That is... <laughs> the box is incredibly broken. Wait, it tells me... That... Wait, what? It gave me the option, but I couldn't pick it up. I mean, it says the box is there. Can I hit the box here now? No, I can't. <laughs> nice. So far, all of the Black Ops 3 weapons feel so much better here on Black Ops 1. Like, on Black Ops 3, it almost feels like like a, like toy guns. Here, you can hear the metal. It just... It, it, looks, it looks a lot more realistic. I mean, the graphics are a lot different on Black Ops 1, so that definitely contributes to it. But it looks really awesome, and it feels... Really, really good. I hope we got Margo to spawn. Um, let me get out of here. The alley might actually be really hard to run because of the bosses. Which is nice. It adds a cool challenge to it. So I can't do the normal strats. Well, let's find out what we'll actually get here. Will it be the Galva Knuckles or will it be the Bowie Knife? It is the Bowie Knife. I have been lied to. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this double points is going to be awesome. I want to pack a punch the Cuda just to see what the camo looks like. You know what? Let's pack a punch the P90. I'm going to go pick up the P90 real quick. I want to see what the P90 looks like after you pack a punch it. I wonder if they added double pack a punch to this. Oh, that's money. <laughs> that looked like a organ. <laughs> okay, let's see. What does this look like? What do we got? Ooh. Okay, and you cannot double pack a punch. Dude, this camo looks nice. I like this a lot, actually. We got a fire assault drop here. I can finally try to get something out of the box. Wow, we got a nuke and an insta kill too. Please, get out of the way. Goodbye, P90. I'm sorry, but I want to try new weapons. What do we got? The M4 again. Let's see what we get stuck with this time. Hopefully not a duplicate. Honestly, I don't even know what I want. <laughs> I'm just hitting the box. Oh, the A94! I'm actually going to pack a punch this if I don't get anything cool. Yeah, I'm going to keep the A94. Let's go pack a punch it. <laughs> okay, pretty nice. I do, again, love the camo. The shine on it is freaking awesome. So for some reason, my recording stopped for a good minute. Um, we've gone through a couple of rounds now, but I did go down. It's so weird. I'm not sure what the hell happened with my OBS. This is, uh, <laughs> this is so stupid, but we did go down, unfortunately. We lost everything. <laughs> Apparently, the damn Apothecon Servant was my mule kick weapon, so we no longer have that. And I hate that it didn't record. But let's go buy our perks back. Hopefully, we get a fire cell this round so I can try to get it back. You know what? Actually, instead of buying perks, I'm gonna pack a punch. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be better if I do that. Let's pack a punch. Which one should we pack a punch? Actually, let's pack a bunch of MV4. The Reckoner. Let's see how good this thing is. Look at how good this thing is. Yes. Yes. A max ammo. Okay, whatever we're going through. Let's go pack punch the uh, HVR. The prey and spray. Yo. Yeah, I, I this is this is definitely going to be one of my favorite ones. Double instas. And a fire sale. I can't the box there for gods. Ah, oh, and a megaton. What is going on? Hold on, I want the Apothecary Servant back. 
a deagle? Oh my god. Not the weapon I thought I would end up with. But hey, I'm down to try it out. Let's see what it's all about. Let's try it out on a normal zombie. I did miss quite a lot of shots there. It's pretty good. Bro. These things are awesome. <laughs> these things are so good. Look at this. I'm just shredding. Alright, let's try the deagle. What the? We got both Margo and the Megaton? <laughs> oh my goodness. When in doubt, just use a trap. Dude, these things are really good. <laughs> the animation's a little bit funny. But it is really, really cool. Start with the M1014. Where the hell's back a punch? Got kind of lost there. <laughs> Let's see. Wolf's Bane. And then the Vector. Maximum Terror. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, I like this one. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, and a fire sale. Bro, this thing is, like, disgusting. Okay, let's switch over to this. Can we now hit this box? Yes, we can. One more hit. What will it be? UMP, I'll take it. I'm sorry. I know I just... <laughs> I know I just pack a punch. The M1014... Okay. I mean, as long as I aim for the head, it'll kill it really fast. Nice. These new weapons are so sick, man. I want to try to pack a punch as many as I can. The Morgul is actually kind of hard to kill now. I have a feeling that its health goes up with the zombies, so we'll start using trap to kill him. <laughs> it's just, like, really hard. Also, I missed the trap. Maybe the Mark II is just really bad. He's like, look. See, look at that. I had all my shots on him, and it didn't even die. The Mark II sucks. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Oh, nice. A fire sale. Yes. <gasps> New weapons. Last hits. Is that a sniper? Oh, it is. Oh, it's the intervention. Ooh, this might actually be really, really good. Is it one shot? Nah, it's more like two shot. Ah, oh, dude, this is going to be awesome. Okay, let's start off with the M240. Good enough. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I feel about that name. <laughs> All right, the intervention. Shooting star. One, two, okay, two shots, headshot. It looks like the good enough is actually, no, 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 no. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm never doing that again. I'm never doing that again. I'm never doing that again. Whoa, 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 my god. That was way too close. But yeah, I definitely made this shot a lot harder for myself since I opened up all the doors. It sucks that the box was in that room off rip, so I had to open up that door. I mean, my original plan was to try out the alley strats, but I soon found out that it is really difficult to actually do that strats. I mean, when I had the Apothecan, it was pretty easy. Now, it's very difficult. <laughs> we don't. We no longer have the uh, Apothecan servant that can carry us. You know what? I think I'm going to get rid of the intervention. It was nice to try out, but it's kind of really bad. I think I'm just going to get the NV4 that's here. Wait, dude. This AR is really good. 
non pack a punched Hold on, this might be This might be the best weapon in this mod. Yeah, look at that. Not pack a punch. The other thing I do got to mention is that this mod does have double tap 2.0. So, you know, I feel like if Black Ops 1 would have had double tap 2.0, the weapons would be a whole different story. Oh, yo, look at this infused arbalist. Does have the ACOG. One, two, three. Oh, wait, I missed that one. Three. Three shots. Oh, it has a fire effect on it. Just like the Olympia. Dude, okay, that's really cool. That is really, really cool. Bro, the reload on the RPD, if you use all the ammo, instead of, like, reloading mid-clip, the reload speed is so fast. Like, here, let me use up all my ammo. And then watch this. Watch the reload. There it is. <laughs> I love whenever weapons have fast reloads like that. Yes! Fire sale! I can only get one more hit. What is it gonna be? Please, a wonder weapon! Oh, and the bear. Nice. <laughs> I think that might have broke the box again. <laughs> I love shotguns that you can just spam like this, especially in zombies. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this shotgun's really good. Let's see if it destroys the Megaton. Yeah, look at that. The Mark II doesn't even kill the Megaton that fast. What? All right, let's try hand boning real quick. This shotgun's better than the Mark II. And this is the Mark II Pack-a-Punched. Like, look, I kind of have to shoot it a lot of times. You know, usually on, like, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3. Um, on round 45, this would definitely still kill pretty fast. But the shotgun is just so good. <laughs> yes, the Mark III! Whoa, the guns are, like, inverted. Hold on. I can't even see what the next weapon is. The Mark II again. <laughs> I'll take it. Finally, a new Wonder Weapon. And we somehow got the Mark II right after. <laughs> At least we finally got a new Wonder Weapon, though. And this is actually the one I really wanted to try. Having the Apothecary Servant is really cool, too. But, um, you know, we already kind of used the Apothecary Servant for a good amount of time. And I wanted to try out this one. It's okay. It's definitely seen better days. So let's try out the... Let's try out the black hole. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this is good. This is good. We can finally speed through the rounds now. Oh, Margua. I wonder if this does any damage. Let's find out. So, um, we'll shoot one of these. Will that do damage? I assume it doesn't. Yeah, I guess it. Yeah, it doesn't do any damage to him. Okay, well, we'll just kill him with traps. All right, let's go pack a punch now, though. I need some ammo. Plus, I want to see what this looks like. Mark three's in. Malastrum of Eris. I wonder if I could actually make this spot work, though. The scary thing isn't really the zombies. It's more the bosses. Oh, yeah, this is working really good, though. It's like I'm playing Revelations. Bro, this round went by so freaking fast. We're already at the end of the round. What? <laughs> okay, I guess we'll stay here. We only need one more round to hit our goal. 
So if I do get like a boss here, I'll just open up the door and then we'll run in there. Hopefully we uh, can make it to the stage fast enough. Oh, okay. Megaton. Okay, you know what? We're leaving, actually. Maybe I didn't have to. No, we gotta go. 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 Damn you, Megaton. Okay, I'm gonna test out the Mark 3s on the Megaton. See if maybe that kills it. No, it doesn't. Chaos! I don't even know what's going on. The turret shooting me! <laughs> You know what? This might be a good spot too, actually. What sucks is that sometimes the uh, black hole messes up. Oh, we're actually really low on ammo right now. We have to already be very close to the end of the round. Oh, yeah, we are. These are the last zombies. Come on. Oh, this last one. Yes! There it is! We got round 50! Let's go, dude! <laughs> we hit freaking round 50 in 3 hours and 9 minutes. That's... Is that, is that alright? I feel like that's still pretty fast for the um, theater strats. The theater strat takes forever. Um, so, I mean, 3 hours isn't too bad. But this mod was hella fun to play. I pretty much tried out all the weapons that I wanted to try out. We got the Mark 3s, the Mark 2 and the apothecary those are the three new wonder weapons that they added in plus the megaton and the margwas are really really fun to deal with uh the traps are just way too op on them that's for sure but yeah this mod is really really cool if you guys do want to check out this mod it's gonna be linked down below in the description i definitely recommend you guys try it out if you guys do have black ops one on pc these mods are so awesome i uh it's honestly impressive the things they can add into this game so let's go ahead and end the round over here in the fire trap room by dolphin diving into the fire <laughs> let's do it dude goodbye <laughs> and then yeah we do get the tombstone can i pick it up before i die again that'd be kind of cool probably not so yeah the tombstone whenever you go down you get your things up oh, and i'm dead wait am i dead hello what's going on am i dead or am i getting res I think my game is broken now. <laughs> I think the game is broken. If you guys do enjoy this sort of content, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. Comment down below if you guys do know of any cool mods for Black Ops 1. Uh, I do love Black Ops 1 mods. They're always so cool. And uh, yeah. So I'll catch you guys on the next one, fellas. Take care. See ya.